morning, and I invite all of the young people to come and join me here in the corner. So let's begin with this question. These weeks after Christmas have a special name, and the word begins with an E. Do any of you remember Epiphany? Now, here's even a more difficult question. What does Epiphany mean? It means appearance. And in particular, it's whose appearance? Jesus' appearance, yes. And what appeared in the sky that let the wise men know that Jesus appeared? A star, like a star on our epiphany tree. And the light that comes from that star tells us about the light, the understanding, the awareness that comes from Jesus. And so Deacon Emily has set up this epiphany that every week will have an ornament that will either be a place, a person, or a thing. Now, last week we talked about baptism and what was the place that we talked about? The font. The baptismal font, yes. So, would you open our box today? Yeah. And inside an ornament, grab it out, and what does it say? Vicar. What or who is a vicar? It's like Vicar Kim, okay. So why do we call Kimberly Todd a vicar? Is, is that a nasty name we're calling her? No, okay. Why are we calling her a vicar? A pastor in training, excellent, very good. Yes, a vicar is the title we give to a person who's preparing to become a pastor in the church. And so not only does Vicar Tim, Kim serve on our staff, she's a student at the Lutheran Seminary in St. Paul, Minnesota. And soon... After her internship, she will become ordained and become a pastor. Now, a pastor tells us about Jesus, but you also can tell people about Jesus, what Jesus means in your life, and the gift of forgiveness, in the teaching about how to be a good friend and to love our neighbor as we love God. Would you pray with me? Good and gracious God, thank you for the appearance of Jesus. Thank you for the story we have to tell. Thank you for Vicar Kim. Prepare her to be a storyteller for you. And use us also. Amen. Okie dokie. Would you hand out everyone a bulletin? Thank you.